Welcome everybody back to Boost Emotion, guys. And today we're gonna look at this awesome build. Yes, this is a fellow VR30 Q50 Q60 owner. But guys, this is a crazy looking build. You already know what to do. Let's hit that intro. Welcome everybody back to Boost Emotion, guys. And good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Thank you. Welcome everybody back. Welcome everybody back to the channel. First thing, shout out to my whole Boost in Motion family. I know you guys have already hit the like button. Thank you guys for your support. And if you're new to this Boost in Motion channel, I am Boost in Motion. I am a currently, eh, I'm a car enthusiast. Let's leave it at that. But I do like to report the news, and especially that I was deep into the Nissan Infinity community. Whenever such a dope builds or some changes happen within the community, I like to let you guys know. So let's quickly, let's jo go jump right into it. So this comes from Eric. Uh, Erwin Smith. Now, this this post is actually from the Q50 Q60 group on Facebook. This is why I tell you guys to go and join because you'll come across some 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 unique builds, and this is one that definitely does not fall short of it. So, something a little different. Figure it out. Post this up. Twin Pulsar 4849 Mirror Image Turbo Turbos, and he also tagged Ben Lee. Um, and this build, um. <laughs> looks insane so let's go take a quick look at a couple of these photos and let's see what we can uh particularly see what see that what stands out for to, for, to us i'm jumping all over the place guys i'm just in awe oh what i saw this post is about almost two weeks old but i you guys don't understand this is so dope so for what i can see here they already got rid of the air to water and coolers those are gone but then also those two very two red things you see there are turbos. And I think this will be considered a twin uh front top mount turbos. So pretty much they have the you have guys already know the VR30s technically do not have an exhaust manifold or header. Everything goes into like the cavity of the exhaust, right out the um the exhaust valves, and then it just pretty much pushed through a square that goes right into the hot side of the regular or uh, VR30 turbos. So what it seems here, they probably developed, I believe they have photos of the build here. And this is how they pretty much have it. So from that square, it go it merges into two oval sides. You would say this is the exhaust manifold and it's pretty much front mounted. Or you would say, I would want to say reverse um, exhaust manifold, but it technically didn't have one. So it's just pretty much top front mount twin turbos set. And this is all the hot piping. That goes right into the turbo. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. And it goes front mount. And this is a pretty much one of the best ways to fit bigger turbos in the car without having to worry about, like, um, the chassis of the vehicle bending things up and trying to get them to fit. In this case, you just move it forward. And if you can do it right without it actually rubbing or touching on anything, you really don't have to really make much crazy changes to anything else on the car. So this is probably one of the reasons why they went with this type of setup. Now, let's go back to the photos. So, also what you see here is you don't see a reservoir. You don't you don't see the reservoir for the coolant tank. So, I would assume that they probably relocated some of this stuff. And we just quickly look through the photos. Um, they don't really, sh they had a lot of stuff. It looked like the... It looked like they probably went with a race, uh, I would assume, radiator. And it looks like it's also diagonally mounted right behind there. It looks like it's diagonally mounted. It's more on this type of end. It's like laying forward, if you could take a quick look there. Right? And they have the intakes for the actual, uh, I don't know what number that is. They have the intakes actually come into the front mount of the car. And that's where it pretty much get the cool air in for the turbos. And also, you're looking at a front mount intercooler, of course. Um, two in on the bottom and two in to the top, which goes all the way back up to, excuse me, uh, the intake manifold. Um, let me see what else here that might stands out to me. So if this is a better look on how the car will actually look from the top mount. Once again, this looks super dope. Like I love this build already. Like it, it, like it seems like they just pretty much went with a smaller race radiator, probably. 
Um, I don't know if the car still has AC. I highly doubt that they still have AC at this point because it's, it, it's probably just more complicated system to add into it. And if you just remove the AC, probably don't have to deal with that and the whole AC components and everything, which probably also got in the way. But I still see. Let's zoom in a little bit here. How much more? can? Oh, I could zoom in a lot. They still have the AC line right here. I can see on the driver's side of the vehicle. Um, that's pretty dope. Okay. They wanted a high pressure fuel pump upgrade. So this car is probably going to definitely be on E. Um, I'm still trying to figure out what that is though. That line that's right there by the radiator support. But once again, like they're hiding a couple of things in there. So it, they did their best. And those that towel blow valves. Okay, cool. Um, I'm liking it. I'm actually particularly liking this build up build already. Let me see if there's anything else here. This is when I guess when they were fitting or putting it in before everything was buttoned up. Okay. Once again, this is a slight better look. Um, I don't really see much from here. But nonetheless, this lets you know when you dream it, you can make it happen. And honestly, if they did this, I would assume they, they probably did this on with a, with a stock motor. This, probably, this car is going to probably make a lot of power. And it's probably a lot easier to service, too, rather than, like, if they want to adjust the wastegates, electronic wastegates uh, properly and everything like, it's probably a lot easier for them to do it um, here compared to doing it somewhere else. So, once again, that's actually pretty dope. But I'm not, and I love the fact that people are just do, thinking outside of the box. Like... I just sit there and think about it. They're thinking, wait, hold on. That looks like, I'm looking at it right now. That looks like it's E. Is that is that the fuel line that goes there? It looked like they mounted the, no, I can't be. Am I bugging here? It looked like they, that looks like the flex fuel sensor that's mounted to the front right here. Because that looks like the sensor there and it goes into something. I don't know. I know um, Irwin or Ben Lee or one of them are going to definitely comment below. I believe they're affiliated with uh, uh, Elite Tech, uh, Tech, TX Performance. And they're probably going to comment below just to correct me. And if they want to get in a video with me, let me know more about this build. You definitely can. So I just don't know who exactly to contact here. Um, maybe it's probably Irwin himself. But nonetheless, I'm just looking at this build and I'm like, this is super dope. And I'm loving where this is actually going. And it seems like it's definitely possible. And they just... Like even looking over here, you can see where they're just trying their best to clear a lot of stuff. Um, the only thing I'm wondering about is uh, where's the exhaust wrap? Because I mean that pipe must get really freaking hot, really hot. That's a lot of radiant heat and also physical heat that you can actually touch it. So I guess they'll get more into that as the day goes and as the build builds up. But this looks really promising. I'm being honest with you guys. This one looks really promising. Depending on how they did, did this, this car is probably going to make a lot of power. But once again, there's probably more money and stuff included because you have to move stuff, remove stuff from the computer, uh, from the car. You got to probably just jimmy rig or finagle things around just to get it to fit. But once again, it's another kit that's, a, that's possibly going to be available for the future. And I like to see, once again, where the VR30 community is going because they're trying their best to think outside the box. I'm still waiting to see someone that would want to go single turbo VR30. Not saying that it would make sense, but it may make sense. It's just they would have to do like a, once again, a, a forward facing Y that would come around and then go into one turbo. Maybe. Maybe it won't make it as complex, but... Then it'll be slightly simpler system just to work with one, one turbo and one maybe large turbo. So all the performance is probably mid range to high range. It all depends. But nonetheless, shout out to uh, Eric. Sorry, Eric. I kept calling Eric. Erwin. And shout out to Ben Lee. And shout out to all the whole Elite Performance team on building this up. This is super dope. And I love seeing the, that these builds continue to go and go and go. And also, I want to say this lastly, right? Right at the end, right? Because I. I always wanted to sit there and see this. I would love to see a compound boost setup on a VR30. For the people who know what I'm talking about, I would love to see a compound boost setup. I'm talking about OEM turbos with a single turbo rear uh, compound boost setup. I think it will be probably one of the easiest and best ways to get the most amount of PSI and air into this car with an air-to-air -air setup 
without having to pretty much drop the motor and do a bunch of work. And I think it may probably be the one of the most cost effective ways on adding additional power. But I ain't got to be a 30 and I ain't building it. So I'll start guys. You have a good morning, good afternoon, good night. Thank you for banging with your boy Boost. Add me at Boost Motion IG and Facebook. Also email boostmotion gmail.com. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. You guys have a good day. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Do appreciate you guys. Love you guys very much. You can also check out the two links I posted for some of my other videos. Also, on top of that, if you want to purchase some Boost Motion merch, definitely check the link that I posted also. And finally, if you've been watching all my videos and you enjoy them, please hit the link for to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.